Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper MRI brain image segmentation using modified fuzzy Siemens clustering algorithm. In this paper, we are going to introduce a modified fuzzy Siemens clustering algorithm. Clustering approach is widely used in biomedical applications, particularly for brain image tumor detection in abnormal magnetic resonance images. Modified FCM is based on the concept of data compression where the dimensionality of the input is highly reduced. Each data is a member of every cluster but with a certain degree known as membership value. It's a method of clustering which allows one piece of data to belong to more than one cluster. Fuzzy partitioning is carried out through an iterative procedure that updates membership and the cluster centroids. Repeat the updation until change of membership values is very small. Here we are going to apply our modified fuzzy Siemens clustering algorithm for the detection of various brain tumors. Now let us see the discussion of data flow diagram. The first block is selection of input MRI scan brain image. It is actually grayscale in nature. The second block is formation of data vector. The given input image is in the form of matrix. It has to be converted into a data vector so that it can be passed to the next block. Come to the third block. It is nothing but fuzzy partitioning. Clustering can also be thought of as a form of data compression where a large number of samples are converted into a small number of representative clusters. We have to specify the number of clusters then initialize the membership values randomly. Afterwards, we have to compute the centroids for each and every cluster. Then, followed this, we have to compute the new membership values. And the fourth block is cluster updation and optimization. We have to up update the fuzzy membership degrees here. The above mentioned steps were repeated until change of membership values is very small where epsilon is typically 0.01. Euclidean distance is the objective function criteria here. Now come to this. We have to assign the labels for each and every cluster. The final membership values. It gives an indication on similarity of each item to the clusters. Each cluster holds similar pixels. At this stage, we need to assign a unique constant value to all pixels within its particular cluster. Now come to this block. This is segmented image. Now the matrix is to be reshaped and it is viewed. We can view a clustered result. For viewing the segmented image, we have to display it in a separate figure window. Now this is our final required result. Here we are going to evaluate the segmentation efficiency. For this, we have to compute two more parameters. The first one is intra-cluster similarity. That means if it is high means low variance among intra-cluster members. Afterwards, the second parameter is segmentation time. Within a short duration of time, we achieve the segmentation result in a perfect way. Now let us see the execution of our proposed implementation. This is the main file mri main.m. Select one file. The guide window will be shown to you under this. Press the button select image. Under the images folder select any one. Now I am going to select this image. It will be displayed here. Then press the button segment. In the command window, the iterations will be going on and it is displayed here. For each and every iteration, the corresponding objective function criteria is also displayed here. Let us see the interstage results. The first one is objective function. This is cast function versus iteration. And the next figure window, it shows the segmented image in color format. And this is the segmentation evaluation graph, that means clustering measure. 
segmented pixels versus cluster unit. Four clusters here we are giving as an input to the FCM algorithm. The corresponding number of pixels that are all enclosed in a particular cluster that will be computed and it is displayed in this graph. And this is the intra cluster similarity variance against the cluster index is drawn here. This is the segmentation time for various weight exponent values the corresponding time measure is displayed here. The overall results will be displayed in the main guy window. The segmented image in grayscale format the segmentation time and the tabular column which shows the pixel label, corresponding pixel count and the center also. Now among the four clusters, cluster 1 has high intra cluster similarity. By viewing all these results, we can assuredly tell our system has reached the best performance when comparing to the existing systems. Thank you.